It's the day before, the day before Christmas. Or, as sane people such as myself call it, it's the 23rd day of Chocomus. There are five advent calendars. There are two days left. This, by my maths, which is getting increasingly less shaky, I hope, means there are ten chocolates. Ten chocolates to go before Christmas Day. But I can only have five of them today. I'd better find out what the first one's going to be. Well, actually... There are really only four, plus this one. I'd better find out what this one's going to be. And then I can look forward to actual nice chocolate. I say nice chocolate. I hope it's nice chocolate. What is it? No Death Star explosions here. That's, that just seems to be banning exploding Death Stars. Do we want to ban exploding Death Stars? I think exploding Death Stars is a good thing, surely. Unlike what lies beneath. And that really does that that just needs needs to go. I need to go. I'm I'm not squishing Santa's face. I'm crushing it between my teeth in the hope that that evil disembodied Christmas unspirit never returns. Now, where's door twenty-three of heroes? Heroes her good times calendar. Only because some of the doors aren't open. No, it's just been uh Um where where is I get quite distracted trying to suffer the Marks and Spencer's chocolate without feeling overly nauseated. There's door 23. I have found it. What's behind door 23? Baubles! Baubles to you two. Ah, hello again, Caramel. We meet again, Caramel. I will not be soothed by your inner beautiful sweet gloop. No, I just, I just won't. I will put you there while I find out what can continental flare. Continental flare of the day. There is flare, it is continental. This may not be true in any way, shape or form, but I won't know until I find door 23. How is it? I know how it is. It's because obviously when I put these to one side, all of the doors close themselves again. How is it I can't find the damn door? There's only two left to go. In this case, apparently three. But there, and it's the Viennese truffle. A feather-like mousse, coated with blended milk and white chocolate, topped with sugar. This sounds eerily familiar. It, they seem to be getting to the end and kind of running out of ideas and, and repeating them very frequently. And it is the one that is okay. Hmm. Speaking of is okay, and that actually being a compliment and far too kind a term, it's... Oh, it's Nestle's, or Nestle's, oh, it's the Aero Bliss. <sighs> Few things have been less appropriately titled. It's the blue one. At least it's, it's one of the, uh, it's kind of the better one. Except it isn't, because I think the best one's probably the salted caramel, just because of the crunchy salt bits. Ugh, ugh, right. Let's line them up, and let's hope to God that on the day before the day before Christmas, when we only have two of these left to go, let's hope that the first of the two isn't a cream, frankly. I mean, I'll take anything that isn't a cream, or possibly isn't a coconut. Oh, which is going to be a coconut cream, isn't it? They're going to make... Oh, buggeration. I really did tempt fate there, didn't I? I tempted fate by remembering what chocolates I hadn't seen too many of, or, well, I've already seen far too many of, before. If you're wondering why that is still there, that is from when it was five days to go on the Star Wars one, and uh, I was hoping that it would give me a 4 3 two, one just to give me the motivation to get to the end of this. This may seem really weird that I'm complaining about eating chocolate. In fact, I'm close to saying, I can't wait for this to be over, I've eaten too much chocolate. But it's not that I've eaten too much chocolate. It's that, let me, allow me to, to explain. Allow me to explain that one good thing about Quality Street is, ooh, sexy effect wrappers. Uh, and sexy effect what's inside them. I, I thought I would genuinely enjoy chocolate when I started doing this. I thought, every year I have a chocolate advent calendar. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. Sometimes I have two or three of them. Why not do an entire Chocomus advent calendar thing this year instead? Get some yummy calendars. And then I realised, as I was doing it, I have to eat things like this. And then, oh, the coconut... The coconut syrup is starting to attack my tongue. Oh, Christ. 
Oh, it won't. Oh, uh, my esophagus does not wish to let this pass. Oh, it was very difficult to swallow. Um, and then I thought, Aero. Oh, I love Aero. Yummy, yummy Aero. And then it's just this. And not only is it just this on the outside, which I've even run out of innuendo for these. Not only is it like, but it's crap on the inside. And, and there have probably been eight of these. Or maybe six. My maths has gone chocolate crazy. Which leaves me looking forward to, and then, having looked forward to, going, well, I mean, Jesus, the quality street is all over the place, and the arrow's just crap. I mean, hang on through that. I said to myself, well, this will be Thornton's. And even the Thornton's has days where it's just positively average. It's okay. It's better than that. But what isn't better than that? Well, that. Not really. <sighs> But at least not every day is terrible, because as agitated as I may be by flashbacks of 22 previous chocolate days, and now today's, oh my god, 22, 12, that's 110 chocolates. 110 chocolates, which should be delicious, but 110 chocolates of which maybe 12 have been actually, like, delightful. And probably 70 have been average, oh Christ. I don't even want to think. I do not want to think about the ratio of good to bad to mediocre in 110 chocolates. <sighs> but there's always caramel. With its smooth inside. To just calm me that little bit. At least until tomorrow. Oh god, it's going to be a cream, isn't it?